Okay, so I got my ridge line across. I'm trying to set up a little tarp shelter um, for the night. I'm in this very open area I was able to find hiking out here, and there is berries absolutely everywhere, which is so cool. Um, so I'm going to collect a few of those later. But, yeah, for now I'm just kind of struggling trying to set up in the rain without getting everything soaked and the nicest day to be doing this but tomorrow's supposed to be a little better so I'm hoping to just ride this out tonight and have a bit of a better morning tomorrow I wanted to kind of push myself and come out in the rain like this and see what I can do and it's funny I do the same thing every single trip the as soon as I get to my spot I kind of stand around and stare at everything for a bit and get overwhelmed before I can move my mind through that and then figure out where to go from there. But it's always like a, a little buffer of adjustment period, even if even if there's like not a lot of time, like I only have another two hours of sunlight left and I have no firewood. I have nothing set up yet. I've just been kind of searching for some wood and trying to figure out where to set up and how to set up and, and it's always different every time in every place and yeah, it's just, it's not super simple or straightforward. There's always like a bit of problem solving to do at first. Um, so that's kind of what I'm <sighs> trying to work through at the moment. Uh, but yeah. The tarp shelter I'm doing is a very basic one. I've got this AquaQuest tarp. It has many tie-outs. So I've got one tab in on the middle here. And I've just hung it from this one ridge line with a Prusik knot and a toggle. And I'm just hanging it like that. And I'm going to try to find some stones just to place around to hold it into place. Basically the reason behind this shelter is to have a ground sheet underneath without having to bring a ground sheet. So this is a 10 by 10 tarp and a small shelter like this is not ideal for this rainy trip obviously but, but it allows me to have a ground tarp in there um, without actually having to bring one and enough coverage to keep me out of the rain. So. Man, it is wet out here. Got quite a bit of room here in the, the shelter. This is a little sag saggy back here. I gotta just fix that, but it's really pouring out right now, so I'm just trying to wait it out. My butt is wet. Everything that was covered by the poncho is completely dry. But, like, obviously, I'm, like, walking through thigh-high <laughs> shrubs and stuff to get everything I need, so everything from here down is absolutely soaked, and I kneeled a couple times, so my butt's wet, too. Wow. That's some rain. Holy...
Okay, so it's gonna be dark really soon. My pants are still soaked. Um, I, I had to wait out some of that rain. It was just ridiculous. I had my shelter up and um, yeah, it just wasn't worth continuing to get soaked. Um, but anyways, I do have food tonight that I don't have to cook if, uh, if it turns out that I can't get a fire going within the next, I don't know, half an hour before it gets dark. Um, so if that's the case, like, that'd be very disappointing. But we're not there yet, so anyways, it's just ever so slightly drizzling right now, so I'm taking a break from the poncho because, like, since I've waited it out a bit, I've dried off a bit, and it's almost not worth just putting it back on. And uh, I'm going to try and gather some wood and hopefully get a little bit of a fire going and see how much I can do in the next half an hour or so. It's really dark in the woods. Thankfully, there is some birch bark, so I'm going to snag a bunch of this. Pretty dry too, surprisingly. Man, look at the draw. I just spent so much time on the other side of this opening looking for firewood. And then I just saw, I just spotted a maple just now. The top half broke off, and that's what I spotted first. But the part that was left standing is super dry. And that'll be perfect. Right over here. dry wood when it's raining is to split it. So, see how this goes. Oh yeah, nice and dry in the middle. Well, you know what? We'll do our best. I think there are these stupid bugs all over me. This will be a miracle. Oh, the bugs are horrible right now. And I'm going to take this opportunity while I have flame to light my little candle for the night. Got this candle lantern. It's so cool. There you go. Not a bad little fire. 
Okay. Alright. I brought a lot for dinner, but I don't think that fire is going to burn very long. So I'm just going to cook up these sausages real quick. Brought some two sausages. I'm just going to have them with a little bit of cheese tonight. That's going to be my dinner. Throw these sausages on there. Ah. Oh my goodness. It just comes to me every time. All right, this is dinner. I'm out of the rain and started pouring again. This is incredibly frustrating. This is how it goes sometimes. They're uh, kind of warm in the middle. Maybe this one's good. Oh yeah. Um. That fire's still going a little bit out there. I'm not sure how. So my bed is set up. It is pouring rain. And it's super windy out. Which is super annoying. So hopefully, hopefully all this stuff calms down overnight. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna change into my one extra dry shirt. Um, probably take off my pants to sleep because they're pretty wet. And, um, yeah, hopefully have a good night. So, hopefully tomorrow's better, more favorable for, for filming. Because uh, today was kind of a bust. But, we'll see. So thanks guys for watching up to this point. I will see you in the morning. Good night.
on some dry twigs this morning. Which makes, makes it a lot easier to start the fire. I couldn't believe I got the fire going last night. That was, that was amazing. I was kind of impressed with myself. For breakfast, I packed some whole oats and some honey. And the blackberries will go just fine in there. I got a sit pad, that's why I'm sitting on my bedding inside my bed. <laughs> Quite comfortable actually, by the way. Alright. Moment of truth. Let's see how we did. Looks like oatmeal. Or cooked oats, rather. This is raw honey and it's obviously old, it's crystallized quite a bit, but it's still, uh, still good, still does the trick. As much as I hate to admit this, this is the very first time I've ever used wild foraged berries in my camping breakfast.
cooked oats with honey and blackberries. Well, this is absolutely delicious. I love how simple it is. You don't need to get extravagant out here. Want some? It's real good. Mm. Wow. So, I finally got one of these. I've been wanting one for so long. It's a little candle lantern. I was looking around at Cabela's and there was one left. And it's the black one, which I've, which is the color I would have chosen, so. Dinner last night kind of sucked, but that's okay. And yeah, overall, pretty good trip. It's been a while since I've done a little tarp overnighter, because we're still in bug season, actually. Um, they're not too, too bad this time of year, obviously, but like, usually, like, they're worse this year than they ever have been this time of year. We've had a lot of rain this year, so I have a feeling that has something to do with it, but anyways, we survived. You see me? <sighs> well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it added some value to your life. Maybe you learned something, that'd be great. Hey, there's a whistle on this. <whistles> Didn't know that, now I do. We've got some pretty fun adventures coming up this fall. Uh, so stay tuned and I guess that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on the next video.